This lecture gives an example how to use ARGC and ARGV to control a program's behavior. This is what we are going to do. First, I will show you the code. Please take a quick look, but do not worry about the details. Do not worry that you do not understand. I will explain the program step by step later. I will show you running the program with different run configurations. After showing a few run configurations, I will explain the program line by line. I will run the program. In the first run configuration, I give the program no argument. The program prints need a number. Then, I give 16 as the argument. The program prints ARGV1 equals to 16 and VAL equals to 26. The next example uses 365 as the argument. The program prints ARGV1 equals to 365. VAL equals to 375. Now, let me explain the program step by step. The program checks whether ARGC is at least 2. The reason is that this program needs to use ARGV1 later. A program's ARGC is at least 1, because ARGV0 is always the program's name. If the program has no additional argument, then ARGC is 1 and ARGV with index 1 does not exist. Please always remember that the first argument has index 0, not 1. This program needs one additional argument. In other words, it needs ARGV1. If no argument is given, this program cannot do its job. Thus, the program prints a message and then returns exit failure. This is the first example using exit failure. By returning exit failure, this program indicates that it is unable to do its job. In a C program, the MAIN function is the starting point. If this function returns, the program stops. If ARGC is at least 2, the program continues. STRTOL is a function that converts a string to a long integer. STRTOL needs three arguments. The first is a string. The second is an address to store the location where conversion stops. In this example, I give NULL to indicate that I do not care about the location. The third argument is the base. In this example, I use 10 to convert the string to a decimal number. It is necessary to convert ARGV with index 1 to an integer, because ARGV1 is a string, not an integer. The next line adds 10 to VAL. The next two lines print the string ARGV1 and the integer VAL. The program has successfully converted ARGV1 to an integer, stores the value in VAL, adds 10 to VAL, and prints the result. Thus, the program returns exit success, to indicate that it has done the job successfully. Let us review what this program teaches us. We can use ARGC and ARGV, to control a program's behavior. Before using an element in ARGV, we must check ARGC to ensure that the element exists. We can use the value of ARGC as a condition. If a program cannot do its job, the program should return exit failure.